hiccups? I heard you had the hiccups backstage. Yes, I did. did. Did they go away? They did. Okay, good. I haven't seen you since the Finding Dory premiere. Did you have fun there? I had a lot of fun. Yeah? Yeah, it was really fun to see you there. And, um, look, there you are. You're so cute. And you're a big sister now, too. I am. Yeah. I love being a big sister with a Katie because he's just so, so cute. Oh, he, he really is so cute. There you are. That's in the hospital, right? Yes. And how old is and he now? His, that's what the blanket that he's on, uh -huh. I picked that up for him. Oh, you did? Oh, that's really sweet of you taking care of him already, picking out. Did and you put the blanket on him? We just left it like that. Yeah. That's good. He looks like a little burrito, huh? He <laughs> does. Yeah. So let me show you a video, and you're going to tell me what's happening in this video, okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> what is, what's going on? <laughs> I, that's just, we just spray shaving cream all over the fuel, and then we make a big ice skating rink, and then I stayed around in it. But that time, I was so steady, and then it fell down. Yes. Yeah. That was the funny one. That's the funny part. Now, this, the shaving cream on the floor, Carrie, is that your idea? Yes. <laughs> Believe it or not. Just to have fun inside? Well, just to indoor? She used to be kind of leery of being messy, uh -huh. so we found a fun way to get over that, and she just absolutely loves it. Oh, let's do some really impressive things. If people are going to, you know the whole solar system, right? So I'm, I'm going to show you some pictures. You're going to tell me, what is this? That's the moon. Tell me about the moon. The moon doesn't have any light of its own. Its powdery surface balances the sun's light onto Earth, which makes it look like the moon's lighting up the night. The moon doesn't have any wind to blow dust. So, so this means that the footprints of the astronauts will always be preserved. Yeah. Wow. That's and amazing. Yes? The moon's gravity tides on Earth's oceans, which creates all high tides and low tides. And this is? Uranus. Yes. Many people like to joke about the name of it. Uranus. Or in the history of this planet, a humongous creation knocked it over. And now it's been on its side. Oh, because with of the, the collision. With its axis at right angles to all the other planets. Yes. All right. And then we'll take a break. But we're about to get to this one. What is this one? Neptune. Tell me about Neptune. Out of all the planets, Neptune is the first planet from Earth. The furthest from Earth. We'll take a break and we'll learn more. And I'm sorry, Andy thinks you're too smart right now. Hold on. <laughs> we'll be back. What is this one right here? The sun. Tell me about the, the sun. The sun is the whole of the solar system. It well, it's much larger than any planet. The sun is composed mostly of two gases, hydrogen and helium. Over one million Earths could fit inside of the sun. One million Earths could fit inside the sun? If it were a hollow sphere. Wow. <laughs> and here's something else I just learned. You you know how to tell time now. I do. It's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> Anybody can tell time on the digital chart. But I can tell time on the hand chart. Oh, um, yeah? Well, I have something. It's a gift, and you can tell me what this says right here. Says that is. It's really great we didn't put numbers on here, you guys. <laughs> we should. I think we'll put the numbers. Yeah, we'll probably put the numbers on. Really good thinking, everybody. And I have one more thing for you and your baby brother, okay? Okay. You have the solar system on your outfit and on your brother's outfit. How about that? Yeah. Cool. Isn't that cool? <laughs> All right. I want to thank Jessica Alba.